What's up guys, in this video we will be going through a couple of batty turns to show you how each phase goes down. In our example, it is round 1, and Gilly will be up against two baddies, a bog pole and a griffin yearling. The yearling will take his turn first, the bog pole second, and Gilly will be the last to take his turn. Step 1. Check for effects dice on top of the baddie. There are no effects dice like poison or stun on top of the griffin yearling, so this phase is over. Step 2. Determine the baddie's target. Gilly is the closest and only gear lock on the battle mat, so the yearling will target Gilly. Step 3. Move the baddie. Baddies can move up to two adjacent spaces. This yearling is a melee unit, so it must be adjacent to Gilly in order to attack. The yearling will move south. Try not to bump your other pieces in the process. Step 4. Skills. At this point, any skills without a specific time would occur here. Flight occurs after attack, so no skills will be activated at this point. Step 5. Roll the dice. Little Birdie here only attacks and it rolls two attack dice. Step 6. Resolve the roll. Any defense dice rolled would be placed on the baddie and attack dice are applied to the target. Here, Gilly's health is reduced by three chips. The Yearling's flight skill activates after attacking, so the flight die is placed on top of the little bird. If a Goblin Sandbagger had rolled the defense die, the defense die would be placed on top of it. If a Bones was rolled in this step, any Bones activated skills would also activate at this point. Step 7. Gearlocks react. Gilly will not react in this case. Next up, the Bog Pole's turn. Step 1. There are no effect dice affecting the Bog Pole. Step 2. The Bog Pole is ranged so will target Gilly from across the map. Step 3. The Bog Pole is ranged so it does not move. Step 4 is skills. The bog pole has poison 1, so it will poison Gilly for 1. Step 5 and 6 have to do with dice, which the bog pole does not have, so these are skipped. And step 7, gearlocks respond, but Gilly will not respond in this case either. And that's it for baddie turns. If you have any questions about this, feel free to make a comment below. We have one more video in the how-to series, then you pretty much know how to play too many bones. We will see you in the next video.